tonight. Cases in the... 345. Today we're talking about a hologram. Sup everyone, hope you are all doing good. Today we're talking about the most easiest way to create hologram using just Premiere Pro. So subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up and let's go. To do that effect, we're gonna need a clip of you interacting with the hologram and we're gonna need a screen recording video. First, let's drag the screen recording onto the top. Don't worry about the size, we're gonna change that later. And with that clip selected, let's go to the effect and type crop. Let's move the unwanted area and now we need to synchronize the screen recording with the video. Let's start by cutting and playing with the speed. So I'm gonna speed up the process to not make the show longer and focus more on the hologram effects. Once you finish it, click right and next. And now we want that screen recording looks like a hologram. Let's add a RGB color effect. Let's start by decreasing the red and adding some green and blue. And now let's add another effect, wave warp. First let's change the wave type to smooth noise and direction to zero. And the wave speed to maybe 5. And what that does is transforming this screen recording into something digital. Next I'm gonna add the alpha glow effect. Let's change the glow and brightness until it's satisfying. For me, maybe I like it about 100 for glow and brightness. And let's change the color into something cyan or blue. And now let's go to the effects and type 3D basics. And what that does is basically changing the perspective and it's easy to use. All you need to do is to adjust the swivel and tilt and distance to image. And also adjust the position and that's it. And it's not gonna take you a lot of time. Next thing we need to do, we want the hologram pops up from the watch. So the first thing we need to do is to determine the end position. And now animate the position and scale and go back to the beginning of the clip and scale it down to zero. Now we need to play with the last part. It's like I didn't find anything interesting and I move it away. Let's make a cut when I start pushing that hologram away. And now go to motion. To avoid problem, make sure to delete the previous keyframes and create new one. So what you gotta do now is go maybe around four frames and resize and position and move it away. Now select the whole clip and click right and nest. Go to the opacity and remove the animation and lower the opacity 50%. Now duplicate the nested sequence by clicking Alt and dragging that clip selected on top. Now change the blending mode to color dodge and adjust the opacity to make it shine. Now let's add the last effect, catch and blur. Start by increasing the brightness to give it more glow and that's it. So that's it guys, that's simple, hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.